juice. Are you good? Are you filming? Are you on? I always know when you're on because he has this smile on his face that he'll get me doing something stupid, which has happened before. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to go over some riding tips and also how to, how to kind of prepare yourself and fully commit to riding in firm snow. Let's get into it. Oftentimes, when you have a snow year that's challenging, and for those of you that have been out riding, um, it seems like it's over the entire West. Even Canada, Alaska, we've all had times throughout the season when the snow isn't perfect. And right now is certainly one of those times where we're finding it. We had a, we had a great day today, like looking around, scoping things out, and we did get to some upper elevation, found some snow, but heck, for the most part, there's a lot of really set up riding areas. But it doesn't mean that you're riding, uh, you gotta stick to the trails, you gotta either that or not even ride. Like you just look at it like, you know what, if there, if there isn't easy snow to ride, then I'm not gonna go out and I'm not gonna continue to progress. And so today's video is essentially about taking little opportunities and we're right next to the trail right now. And I see this like open setup that's up there and I know that that hill is fairly set up snow. I know that it is. And in terms of commitment, in terms of like, really having to put a sled on edge. I'm really having to exaggerate my movements because I don't have that deep snow that oftentimes helps us. But remember that we need to learn and have tools in the toolbox for no matter what snow condition we get in. We all love good snow. We all love easy snow, but it's not always like that. So remembering we're going to continue to develop and continue to progress no matter what the snowpack looks like or feels like. So let's go through and we'll share some examples of what to do and how to do it when we have a firm or a shallow snowpack. All right guys, so as you can tell, I mean, we're in some rigid snow. I don't really get to put too much of this sled into the side hill and let the snow do a lot of the work and you're kind of feeling the same. Yeah. And although, yeah, it's rigid, it's a bit intimidating, you can tell we've got very little highway option below me to just let the sled go down. But the other benefit that we've got going for us right now is that we're a solid, you know, 35 feet from the trail system. And so what I'm getting at, I guess, is what a perfect spot. There's no real tracks except for my own right there, just kind of establishing a line. But what a great spot for us to practice. Yeah. You could have eyes on you down below and you could just use these little areas. I mean, we're talking maybe a, a couple hundred feet in here to just get some confidence, get some practice with just going across some of these side hills when it's pretty gosh dang rigid. So I'm gonna set up and stay here. I'm gonna ask Wyatt to come, or I'm gonna ask him to come down in a downhill track like you guys have seen and probably practiced before. And it's gonna be a big focus on using our brakes, remembering to keep our body upright, keep our body stepping down the hill, using those brakes. And remember guys that it is not about speed. So this is one of those situations where it's always gonna be about position on the sled. So I want you to come down, then I want you to make a foot position change and go up, but we're gonna go ahead and side hill on this rigid slope using the same techniques that we would had we had better, deeper snow. Go for it. All right, so my sled's already in position. Trying to far forward on the board. Letting that nose move down, a little bit of break. Stepping. Looking yeah. where I want to go. You guys listen to the sled. Just coming downhill. Get that foot back. Keeping those up. shoulders and those hips upright. <laughs> Giving it just the amount of throttle. And still being just able like to make that. those nice direction changes. Big, even though we're barely, control. barely putting our ski or the track into this rigid snow. He's got his sled heavily counter steered, so I'm way uphill of the sled. And I've got that thing nearly paneled out. We're on such a steep hill here. So if I let go of this, this thing's coming down the hill. So we don't have the benefit that we'd have in that deep, deep snow. I'm gonna do something similar and come right towards camera. Again. My foot position while I'm in this type of snow, I'm relatively far forward on the running board. I don't ever, ever rescue bad technique by giving it a bunch of throttle. That's not what this is. It's about position. So here I go. 
tipping the sled out, not letting go of it. My skis are counter steered, good push off, and here I come. You guys can tell, like I've got very, very good firm, like being able to put my foot into the snow in that deeper snow, right? A lot of times we'd let that foot kind of trail behind, use a bit more momentum and accomplish the same thing side hill and across the hill. It's so firm right now, I'm able to just put my foot down and I'm literally stepping forward, keeping my shoulders and my hips in the direction I wanna go. I'm not losing confidence and I'm certainly not looking down there because that's not where I'm going. I'm going across the hill. We can still practice this stuff day in and day out, regardless of the snow condition, build that confidence, and let's be able to be in this terrain no matter what, because sooner or later, regardless of how much you ride, you might find yourself in a snow condition that this is what you've got to get out of to get home. So let's continue to practice this day in and day out. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so remembering, as we're talking about these quick tips to just riding in some firm snow, and you guys can tell, I mean, I'm able to get my sled, you know, onto a side hill and I'm in okay enough snow where I can stop, turn around and talk to you guys, but notice the quick feet, and, right, and it relates back to, you know, the concrete feet video, having the ability to move my feet and make these really quick position changes when I am in that firm snow, because again, I don't have the luxury of just leaning into the hillside when I've got snow that's fluff out like this and it kind of holds that sled into the hillside. I've really got to make that move, do it quickly, as well as exaggerate that movement of blipping the throttle and setting that sled into the hillside. Even on really hard snow, I mean hard as all, all get out, you can still get your sled positioned like this if you're willing to move your feet. <laughs> Lots of braking, lots of braking. Staying forward on the machine. Yeah. What do you think? Nice. Yeah. Like an old pro at 22 years old. I love riding with these young shredders because obviously guys, technology has changed. Tech technology is helping a lot of people get to a level of riding that is just, well, far above where I was when I was in my young 20s. And it's so cool to see. I'm loving seeing how many people are out here. We had a class just this last week. I had a, a kid out here, 14 years old, 105 pounds, doing this exact same thing. And you know what really the difference was? The kid wasn't afraid to come out here and do this. Yeah. So get out on those slopes, regardless of this hard snowpack, gain some confidence and remember that we're on a steep hill and we're kind of high up. Don't be afraid to set yourself up for success and do this stuff on a little bit less angle and lower to maybe the base of these hills. Build that confidence each time you go across both left and right. And then as you gain that confidence, get up onto these steeper hills. Hope you guys like that video. Keep it short and sweet this time. Let's remember guys that even on seasons when we don't have a stellar snowpack, I'm gonna continue to go out and continue to practice because practice is never gonna make us perfect, but it'll certainly make us more prepared. Hey buddy, what's your, uh, what's your tip to riding in firm snow? Tip of the day? Um, one thing that I have been working on today is remembering to breathe, <laughs> not holding my breath because sometimes I'm looking down at consequences or I get freaked out about some rut. Just remembering to breathe. Yeah. I mean, body runs on oxygen, right? So yeah, that's a great remembering one. to breathe. Not to mention in this more rigid snow, it feels like you're kind of gripped, almost yeah. death grip to, to white, the sled. So you kind knuckle. of wear out quicker. That's a really good tip. Remembering to breathe. Remembering to breathe. Yeah, and you guys remember also, man, tell yourself that you can. How many people go out here and they're already shaking their head no, it's like they've given up before they'd even started, man. Yep. Come out here with a positive attitude. Remember, start slow, start small, start shallow. Build that confidence, come back up. You guys, we appreciate you guys. Remember those, those questions and comments, they're so important to us. We really do like all of the ideas that the channel has given us for future videos. So keep doing that, guys. We love you and we'll see you next time. Yeah.